So this is Goldsboro Hall in North Yorkshire and um, yeah I'm staying here for the night. I'm a paying guest uh, but I've never been here before so it looks pretty cool. So from my understanding, um, the hall used to actually, one of the iterations, it used to be a nursing home, I think back in the 80s. Um, and I know Princess Mary, the um, Queen's aunt, um, used to reside here as well. Ooh, little pussy cat. Hello. windows. There's quite a lot of art as well. And a nice summer's day, it's a gorgeous view. And this is out into their gardens. It's pretty quiet at the moment, but the lady I spoke to here, who was really lovely actually, um, she said that they're actually fully booked. But you wouldn't really tell, it's actually such a big, a big building. There's lots of little quiet spaces, which is really nice. Totally recommend that. Just get a book, chill out. And it's actually really quiet. We're quite far off from kind of the main road, which is lovely. And I wonder what it's like at night because there's probably not that much um, kind of air pollution. So hopefully, and there's not obviously many street lights or anything, we should be able to see the stars. But yeah, really nice, really peaceful. It's got such a nice vibe to it. Pretty. This is just the side of the building. Super pretty. So yeah, I've never been here before, but I wanted to check it out. And um, you know, I am a paying guest, so um, I just thought I'd kind of give my thoughts on it. Um, it's up in North Yorkshire. So luckily, I've picked a nice day. It's been terrible weather, 
so um, we'll see how we go I'm here for a few days and but my initial thoughts it's really lovely very peaceful if you just want to relax I mean this would be a lovely place to have like breakfast in the morning really lovely or even like a romantic dinner be quite nice because you're kind of secluded and there's a little kind of archway so yeah really nice definitely my first impressions are really good um, I just like the fact that it's really peaceful and yeah really nice So this is just the staircase. This is my sweet, uh, I think it's the uh, Wharton suite, and it's on the second floor of the Goldsboro Hall, um, which is beautiful. It's actually really lovely. Um, I've actually been upgraded. Um, I originally paid for a double room, and this is one of the suites. So it's got a lovely, lovely old wardrobe, quite a big bed. And the main thing that I really like is the window. Look how big the window is. And luckily today it's nice and sunny. I'm going to check out their walled gardens. I think they've got like a, a veg garden as well. So just a little part of it. And yeah, so looks like we've got complimentary biscuits very warm welcome we hope you have a most enjoyable stay with us Mark and Claire Oglesbury they're the ones that basically own um, Goldsboro Hall but yeah it looks nice just getting my luggage in and then just check out the bathroom so this is the bathroom Lovely sinks, quite modern. And then the bath shower. Gosh, quite a huge bath actually. Kind of like a spa bath. I'm actually quite peckish. Um, it's not quite dinner yet, it's only like kind of lunchtime. But I've just noticed in their menu they do like a butler's menu. It's to be various sandwiches. And then there's also soup of the day. So I'm kind of tempted to check that menu out and then um, head down to dinner later because I'm quite hungry and I've not actually had lunch. So I might. Yeah, I might check that out actually, it sounds quite nice. I quite like the look of the egg mayo, uh, but it's nice. They've got Yorkshire ham and mustard mayo. They've got oak smoked salmon, lemon creme fraiche, and then cream cheese and cucumber. And then yeah, sourdough with soup of the day. So yeah, maybe I'll check that out. Now I thought I'd go for a bit of a, a, bit of a wander. Uh, so it looks like this is the local pub. Bay Horse Inn. I'm actually quite peckish, but I can't quite see like a local 
store or something I can pop in and get snacks because I don't really want like a main meal. I'll show you the menu. So, so I've got salads, pub classics, all sandwiches, typical kind of English pub food really. Ooh, desserts. Oh look at that cheesecake, sticky toffee pudding. Looks quite nice. It's quite a cute little kind of village. Um, so I just thought I'd kind of go for a bit of a walk. But I guess typical northern English village really. Um, but yeah, it would be quite handy, I must admit, if I was here more than like a night, it'd be handy to just get kind of um, a little kind of corner shop or something. I think there's a post office somewhere, but I think it said it was closed. So, I'll just go for a bit of a wander, see what we can check out. So I thought I'd just pop in and check out their local pub, which is the Bay Horse Inn in Goldsboro. It's quite a cute little place actually. So I thought I'd get a snack. snack and it's actually quite a big sandwich and chips and a salad so I got a prawn cocktail warm ciabatta with naughty bread yeah chips and a salad so oopsie maybe it's a bigger snack than normal so I just had um, quite a large snack in the end at the pub behind me which was really lovely. The guy there was so lovely, he was really helpful. I told him I was kind of like new to the area and staying at the hall. And I said I couldn't find the post office and he was like, yeah, yeah, it's closed. But um, he did say that other than the pub, there's not a huge amount in Goldsboro. So it's like a little village. But um, he did say there's like a retail park, like a five minute drive away. So it's good if you've got a car. And so I might check that out tomorrow. But I'm just going to walk off my ciabatta because I'm a bit stuffed now. Um, and he also said that, I mean, Harrogate and I think it's Knaresborough is quite near to the hall as well. So I'll check that out tomorrow if the weather's good. But I'm just walking back now to the hall. So, yeah, really nice. Really lovely pub. I had like the prawn sandwich with fries and salad the fries were so good and I'm not even that much of a fan of like chips but so crispy so yummy just the right amount for me so definitely recommend that place um, I think it was like 15 pounds or something but no really nice and the owner or manager there is really lovely really helpful but it seems to be like the hub of the village which is very kind of English northern there's always a pub in a village but um, they do dinners as well which I think they get quite fully booked at but I've got dinner at Goldsboro Hall anyway but it's always nice to know so I'm just gonna walk back Ooh, very full but yeah so really really nice and it's like two minutes away from the hall the pub so really handy first one I think it's for people who've just booked to kind of check out the gardens but aren't actually staying and there's like loads of parking so it's quite handy 
but yeah, you just see, you just need to go through this gate for people that are staying. Hi guys, so I've just freshened up, uh, washed my hair and got a top on from Lily Silk. I don't know if you can kind of see, it's just a satin and lace top. Um, if I've got the information, I'll put the details in the description bar below. But I just kind of uh, go a bit smart. So it looks like we're going to be meeting in, I think, the drawing room um, for drinks. And then they're going to bring us into the dining room when the food's ready. So I think it's a six course tasting menu that's dinner this evening. So I thought it'd be quite nice. But I thought I'd just get ready, put a bit of lippy on. The lippy is, I think, posh by Victoria Beckham. And actually it's really nice, I'm running a bit low on it, but it's um, really nice on my lips and I kind of like the colour. And then I think I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk um, Lip Cheat, which is just one of my staples really. But yeah, I thought I'd kind of get ready, um, just freshen up, put something on and yeah, head downstairs. So this is the tasting dinner menu for this evening. So this is the head chef information. So we've got wine pairings available if you drink, which I don't, but um, so this is your dining experience. So it looks like we've got sourdough, pea custard, leek, cod, duck, oh I love duck, and then some desserts and Michelin star 2023 so that looks really lovely and then let's see if there's anything else and then you've got a bit more information if you want to do anything afterwards which is really nice that they give it to you so you know what you're expecting which is very nice and I'm just relaxing in the drawing room while they call me for dinner which is lovely and this is the wine list which is pretty extensive so if you're interested in that but yeah I think I'll just relax and just enjoy the peace and quiet so this has just come out as my couple of little canapes. Totally forgot what they are. If I can remember I'll put them on the screen. But it came out in like a little smoky dome as well. So it smells lovely. So I'm just gonna try and nip all these. So I've just moved outside, hoping to see a bit of a sunset, but it is quite cloudy. I've just had my dinner, so, but it's so quiet. I can't get over how quiet it is. All you can hear are like the birds, which is so lush. But yeah, there's no one else around. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna get much of a sunset, which is a shame. But I imagine like the stars at night are pretty cool. But yeah, it's really nice. Thought I'd do a bit of work, enjoy the quiet. It's so serene, like, really lovely. I doubt I might be able to do this in the in the winter. It'd be a little bit chilly. But um, yeah, 
really nice. I'm so stuffed from the dinner as well. So it's nice to get a bit of fresh air and just enjoy the view. Thank you.